Welcome back. Today I have a very unique flipper. A grail knife of mine, if you will. Not a fully custom, but a med tech or a production. It's the Lambert Augustus by Riot Knives. And I'm really proud to own this work of art. I want to talk about the Augustus in sections, then as a whole. The specs and visuals is where I'll begin. Closed, the knife is 4.84 inches in length. The blade length is 3.62 inches totaling just under eight and a half inches. The blade thickness is 0.157 inches. It's clip point with a beautiful satin finish and heavily contrasting lines throughout the compound grind. And the handle is very aesthetically pleasing. A very robust bead blasted 64L4V titanium, then with a seamless transition to a tightly woven carbon fiber. From a distance to me, it slightly resembles a snakeskin pattern. Beautifully milled titanium pocket clip and an amazing floating backspacer, which extremely enhances the integrity of the knife structure. And then, to top it all off, the blue accented hardware by Tie Connector Custom, with gold accents on the collar and proud pivot sections, which set the build off. The Lambert Maker's Mark rests on the lock side of the blade, and Riot on the show side of the piece. Other than the M390 steel stamp, you won't find anything else on this blade. The grind is astonishingly symmetric. In addition, the non-show side of the handle is the exact same and just as beautiful as the show side. The pocket clip is sturdy, yet forgiving if snagged on something. But I have no need to worry, seeing as how I will never be wearing this around by a clip in pocket. So, yeah. But for the viewer's sake, it's fitting. No hot spots when I squeeze the handle hard, and I can't feel or even notice it in my normal grip. So that's always great. Next, I would like to speak about the mechanics of the knife how the knife acts while going through its motions, and some of the sounds emitted by the Augustus. The detent on this knife is awesome, with no variation in thrust, speed, or lockup. The finely tuned detent makes for an unwavering action. It feels as if it holds out for quite some time, then suddenly breaks and the blade comes rocketing out. The sound the Augustus makes is eerily similar to my iPhone locking. I believe it's somewhat due to the titanium and carbon fiber which refracts the sound but mainly it's the detent's ramp, allowing only the final lockup to give an audible or affect the speed, ending in a loud sounding thwack. This detent ramp also aids in a smooth hydraulic-like retraction of the knife. But to have the smooth drop action, the user must overcome the ramp, allowing the blade's weight to pull it back down, eventually resetting the detent ball. When the knife is closing, it has an air pump glassy type of feel, which I believe can be contributed to the ceramic ball bearing system used on the Augustus. The retraction sound is very loud, yet crisp. The Riot seals shut like a vault door in a bank. My knife won't be the best example due to this being about deployment 20. I have yet to even start wearing bearing tracks in, or break in any of the knife for that matter. The Augustus models are definitely drop shut on the retraction. And finally, I want to discuss the design as a whole. I believe it's a merge of the older knife world and the new, or maybe rugged and refined. The blade has a lot of sharp angles and pointy ends. For instance, the thumb rest area on the spine. The blade has very high and thick grinds and a hollow recurve. Then on the handle, the lines tend to flow much more smooth. The edges are rounded and chamfered nicely. And yes, there is a visual titanium and carbon fiber transition, but by hand, that cannot be felt, period. And yeah, I felt some different carbon fibers, but this one is definitely special. Not your average laid carbon fiber. You can see how the blued hardware adds yet another beautiful layer of contrast to the multi-tone grays across the handle. The gold accented pivots extends the contrast out into the titanium and is very appealing. And in the rear, we have the floating backspacer. Another beautiful and ingenious design. And I might as well add the handle was designed by Mr. Lambert and it's superb. That's why it's been presented in other variants on different makes and models. But back to the backspacer. Its screws are set behind the carbon fiber inlays, so not to ever see the spacer's hardware, giving the overall look and appearance of nearly no visual or tactile breaks in the material and design lines. The merge of the ruggedness and refinement, older style and modern, can have a polarizing appearance to some. As for me, this fits into what I love, so it's perfect. Last but not least, I will speak briefly on the weight of the Augustus. Some might say it's a bit hefty, and yes, it's a big one but definitely does not wield like the true five ounces that it weighs in at, due to the perfect balancing act performed by the Augustus. And that recurve accelerates the cut, keeping balance throughout the slicing motion while reducing drag. This is the very beginning of my collection, the Kirby Lambert production piece by Riot. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below on your thoughts. 
What's your favorite knife and how often do you carry it?